That's the most. Can they hear you or see you? No, they can't hear or see me. That would look really funny if I was like vlogging. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing another day in my life. It's a beautiful Friday. I had class this morning. And yeah, the sun is out. It's been raining the last few days. So naturally, what are my mom and I going to do? A bike ride. It's a really great day. I'm just I'm feeling it in the bones. So I thought it'd be a good day to vlog because I haven't done like a normal vlog. My last vlog was like between me and Ryan, which you guys love. So I'm so glad that you guys really, really enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about some philanthropies and certain charities that you guys can be donating to right now. Hey guys, I'm editing this video right now and I just wanted to pop in and talk about the organization. I wanted a shout out today. I'm going to be trying to do this in each of my videos because right now is a crazy time and I want to use my platform like I said in the beginning of this video to, you know, give some light to the organizations that are trying to do amazing things for this world. Mm -hmm. So today I wanted to shout out Feeding America. Um, they're obviously a very well-known organization. I have this pulled up right here. Um, and I'll have the link down below for you guys to donate if you ever so wish. Um, and it says that one dollar can provide at least 10 meals to children and families in need through the Feeding America Network of Food Banks, which I think is absolutely amazing. It is so crazy right now. You know, there's still people that are homeless. There's still people that are needing food. And I am so thankful. A lot of you guys are still so thankful that we have a roof under our head that we know we're going to be able to eat every day. And that's just not the case for everyone. So we, like it says, even if you donate a dollar, I just donated a hundred dollars. It's completely up to you, but anything helps. And I think it's a great thing so i'll have the link down below i'm outside i thought it'd be fun to do the intro out here my mom and i are gonna go for a bike ride um so i might like do like an actual workout later but it's just so nice out and i thought it'd be really fun um agenda for the day i have some stuff to get done as well as at 4 p.m me and brooke are recording for kenzie's podcast so gals on the go times at least so much and i'm like really excited um so yeah it's like 11 something now i'm a walking highlighter today i'm obsessed with free people movement sets you guys they just sent me this set and i'm like i don't deserve this like i literally live in these i'm so thankful i love this one this is in the color vintage coral i believe um and this is the good karma bra Maybe it's called the Good Karma Leggings. I don't know. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But I love this set so much. I'm going to look so obnoxious out on my bike, but that's okay. And then I'm wearing my Adidas. They're called the Falcon Sneakers. I'll have those linked down below as well. But yeah, I'm not wearing any makeup. My hair, I did the Dyson Air Wrap on it yesterday, so it's just like second day. Yeah, today's a good day for a good day. I think we're going to stop by our favorite juice place and get juices. So in preparation, I've got my mask. I actually haven't really like been out in public in a minute, so I'm excited to finally get to wear my mask so my dad actually bought these from someone working at the hospital she was making them and I sprayed a little essential oil in there because I wanted it to smell good so yeah I've got my fanny pack got my sunglasses oh let's turn my light on get my water bottle I'm gonna go for a little bike ride whenever I go for a bike ride I feel like my peloton's jealous and thinks I'm cheating on her but like don't worry very equal <laughs> to our favorite little spot. We're gonna sit in the grass, eat or eat, drink our juices. She's gonna drink her smoothie. Oh yeah, I am. Oh yeah, I am. I'm mainly getting my breakfast. Woo! Cheers. Good stuff, cheers. Hey guys, so we just got back from our bike ride. We got some juices. It was really, really, really nice. I am now hungry, it's two o'clock. I just made myself PB&J. And chips it's just I don't know that's just like the lunch I love and I know okay but yeah so we're recording for Kenzie's podcast at four so in two hours I'm gonna eat this and I have like some assignments that are due early next week that I kind of want to get done before the weekend but I don't really know if I'll get it all done I have like a long to-do list of stuff I really want to clean out my car just because it's like a nice day outside so it'd be fun to like open up all the doors and clean out my car I don't know I got things I want to do and I don't really know in which order I don't know if I'm gonna work out today if I do it'd be like tonight because I just went for a bike ride and we were going up hills and stuff so yeah but it was a really nice ride I'm so happy the sun is back out it's crazy how much it can affect your mood and yeah, I'm just gonna eat and kind of edge up for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna watch an episode of All American. Boys, bring it in. Yummy. 
Okay, so this is why we love calendars and Google Calendar, because my Google Calendar just told me that we're recording in 30 minutes, which means at 3. I don't know why in my head we're recording at 4, so we're recording at 3. So I'm going to go make another coffee, because gotta got to have coffee to talk with the gals. Alright, so we are recording! Kenzie and Farag! Gals on the Go Times, Illy So Much. I always say Illy So Much instead of I Love You So Much. Illy So Much. And yeah, good stuff. Just finished recording the podcast. It was so much fun. It was literally just like us three like talking. Like it was such a good episode. So definitely go listen to that um, on Kenzie's podcast. I need some fresh air. I've like been at my desk for a couple hours. So I just like want to come outside the sun is shining I'm like totally putting off doing things that I need to be doing I really need to make my schedule for the fall um for UGA my registration is this coming Wednesday and I'm like you know I don't want to waste all I mean I'm really I'm assuming we're going to be back in the fall but you know it is scary and it's like so hard to be like okay let me plan out all these times and like plan out my schedule perfectly and then I don't even go back but we're going back it's going to happen I feel confident Last I heard, Dr. Fauci from the CDC was saying he thinks we'll be back in the fall. So I'm just going to go with that. I think you all should because if I'm not at UGA for my senior year, whew. Anyways, don't want to get all into that. But um, yeah, so I have to come up with my schedule, assuming that everything is normal. I want to have a good schedule for my fall semester. My last fall semester ever of being a student. That's wild. So I've been kind of putting off doing that because I'm just like, oh, it's like a lot of work, you know, like figuring out the times and what classes are available. It's like a whole big thing. So that's that um yeah also i've been like away from my family for a couple hours because i was recording and stuff and it's like are you ever just like where's my family like everyone must be napping okay guys i'm finally sitting down to start looking at my schedule um i had a meeting with my advisor thankfully before school was canceled so i was able to meet with her in person and um talk about that so the classes that i need to take in the fall well i'm gonna take marketing over the summer actually basically my spring senior year i want to like have a chill schedule i'd like to just only take 12 credit hours so in order to do that i need to take 15 this fall and then one this summer um, actually, I'm taking two this summer because I um, was supposed to do a study away program in May um, and I need it to in order to graduate from the fashion merchandising program, but um, it was supposed to be in New York and it got canceled, so I have to like write this really long research paper over the summer now instead. So I'll be doing that as well as um, online marketing. And then in the fall, I have to take, I only have the code names for these actually, so I don't really know the names of them, but they're... I, in the fall, it shows me, she basically wrote down like six different classes I could take in either the fall or the spring. These are just the ones I have left. That's what it is. These are the ones I've left. I have PE left. I have three um, fashion merchandising classes. And then I have one more textiles class. And I believe that's it. Um, so I have to kind of take a look at this, see what's available in the fall versus some, in the spring. Some classes are only offered in the fall. Some are only offered in the spring. So I need to make sure I like hit all those. Um... And yeah, I want to take PE in the spring anyways. Like, all my friends are going to take a PE together. It's like a thing. Like, Brooke, she took um, bowling with a ton of her friends second semester senior year. Um, there's, like, a ton of different ones that we can do. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. We have now moved to the living room. I have some brie, a little pre-dinner brie. Going to keep working on my schedule out here. Tried to be a little social with the fam. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are we doing? And, yeah, I don't really want to watch the stocks right now. So... Let's see what else is on. Guys, schedule is looking pretty good. I'll be like busy in the mornings, but then after that, I have the rest of the day except for these two days. So we'll see if this works. Okay, so hi guys from our home gym, Freddie. I have to give all props to my brother, Freddie. He took this as a project. We never, one of those families, we like always just don't put our cars in the garage. We're just, everyone's always moving cars, so it's just better to easily, it's just, we're always like moving cars and just switching it out, so it's just easier if we have like a couple cars in the driveway, one on the street, I don't know, do any of you guys do that too? Like you never actually put your cars in the garage. So anyways, Freddie took it upon himself to make this a project, to make this like a cool place for us to come hang out since the gym is closed and I recently got my Peloton bike, and it has been the best thing. You guys really didn't see our garage before, but it was uh, messy, and we're still working on it, but... I thought I would show you guys so far what he's been up to. I'm like so impressed with what he's done. Again, still in the works, um, but basically last night we just ordered some mirrors. So we're gonna be putting um, some mirrors there. This is like where Freddie's been doing like weight stuff and like circuit, I don't even really know all the words, but he's gonna put all of his weights over there. 
Um, and then, oh, I just realized he moved the punching bag. It used to be over here, now it's back here. These are those ropes that you like doing CrossFit or whatever. These are weight plates. Most of this is honestly for Freddy. Um, and then over here's my little station, my Peloton. And then I've got obviously our bikes back here, but it's been so awesome and it's just so hype. Like we'll open the garage and we'll blast some music. So I've got my speaker here and we have some fans. And it just feels so amazing. Literally last night we just came in here and hung out. It's become kind of a safe space for us. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm in the mood to do just a little workout, just spin to a couple songs. So I'm gonna open the garage. We're gonna get this is my little tripod I had set up on for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna get after it. I'm gonna tell Freddy to come join me. He'll like work out over there, and then I'll like do my little class, and it's so fun. All right, just got my shoes on. We're gonna get the speaker going. I've been playing a lot of like SoundCloud remixes right now, so definitely follow me on SoundCloud. I made like a playlist of a ton of my favorite spin songs. This intoxicated song mix, whatever, on SoundCloud just gets me so hype. This is so necessary. It's <sighs> funny, you sweat in this garage fast, but it feels more rewarding, you know? Oh, we're gonna need to get a couple more of these fans, I feel like. So we got some TRX bands in the mail. Where'd they go? They're on the app, I'm sure. <laughs> got some TRX bands in the mail today. Bands that make a dance. Oh my god, yes, I love slash hate these because they're awesome, but they're kind of annoying sometimes. Wow, that was easy. We have all these random holes that are perfect for hanging up all these things. All right, I feel a golden hour glow. Ah, oh, look at that. Quick little workout. I wasn't even planning on working at all. I just spun to like four songs maybe, honestly, but it's okay, it's better than nothing. Helped Freddy a little bit more at the gym. Wow, holy crap. That is just not real, you guys, that is not real. I tried to get Freddy to come play football with me and he was not into it. I think I might just pop a squatty here. I really need water. <laughs> and uh, enjoy this for a second. Look who came to join, Freddy. Guys, the sailboat was crossing the sun at like the perfect time. It's like, did you plan that? <laughs> the sun has set, it's time for a shower. Feeling fresh and clean, wearing our new Gals in the Go merch that sold out in literally hours, you guys. We're working on a restock of this color, and then we're also going to do some other colors, too, because you guys loved this hoodie so much. It is definitely awesome, and I love the back, Gals on the Go. I'm going to brush my hair, and then my mom made a minestrone soup, so dinner time. So tonight's dinner is a little bit more casual. We usually, like, sit down and talk for, like, two hours, but tonight we're all kind of on different eating schedules, so my mom made this... Really good minestrone soup. It looks like a little healthy vibe, too. She added some kale. Kind of hype. I'm going to watch some more All-American. Guys, Jordan Baker, you know who I'm talking about. Yes. All right, I have been summoned to the living room. We're going to watch Dirty Grandpa with Zac Efron and Robert De Niro. I don't know. We've all been, like, talking about that movie. And it's Friday night. I don't have school tomorrow. <laughs> all right, so we're in my room now, and I'm just letting the mask sit. I look cute as ever. I know. And I forgot that this mask is like a stiffening one, so I really can't laugh or smile. But don't worry, I'm trying to smile on the inside. So I get lash lift and tints monthly, and it's been about a month now, or more than a month since I've gotten one. And like, look how sad looking my lashes are, but that's besides the point. There's worse problems. So I went on Twitter and I asked you guys to ask me some questions to end this Q&A or to end this vlog off. I just thought it'd be like a fun little thing to do because I really just don't know. I always think my vlogs aren't long enough, then it totally ends up being long enough, but you never know. So. We're going to assume that this vlog isn't long enough. And I don't know, I just wanted to vlog today because I just, I don't know, I was in like a mood. But I'm like, I feel like my days are the same, but you guys say they're not and you still want to watch them. But 
I don't really know. I think I've gotten kind of creative with video ideas recently. I'm like trying. I don't know. Olivia asks, how do you stay so positive? Also current home screen photo. So I change my iPhone wallpaper actually every two days. Everyone always makes fun of me. I just like do. And for the longest time, I've always had it as a picture of me and Ryan. And like, I'll probably switch it to one of him and I soon. Um, but the last like week or so, I just like really needed some like motivation. I love Ryan. Great guy. But I changed it to one of our gals on the go backgrounds actually. And I've had this for like a week now. It's kind of crazy. And it says do it for yourself. And because right now it's just like a time where you need to be doing things for yourself. It's definitely taught me how much I have relied on not even other people, but just things in my life for happiness and trying to stay busy to avoid my like personal problems. I don't really have like major problems, but you know, just to like when I'm feeling sad, I would just like be busy. I don't know, like me, Kenzie and Brooke were talking about that today on the podcast, how, you know, when we're just like, we don't want to like think about something, we just stay busy and we hustle and that's awesome. But this is definitely like a time where you literally have to feel your feelings. Um, there's no avoiding it. Anyways, I've just learned that anything I do right now is for myself and it's so important to do things for yourself, not for other people, not for anything else, but for your personal happiness and your well-being. That doesn't mean be selfish, but it just means that no one else can love you. No one else wants to be around someone that it doesn't love themselves. Like, it's just, it's not like a good vibe to be around. Um, and I think right before all this happened, I was kind of finding my self-worth in other people and other things. And that's just not it, fam. That's not it. So I'm definitely learning how to like kind of bring myself in, get back to that girl boss spirit and just do it for yourself, man. Why did you pick your major? Because I started as a business major and then I realized that I wanted to be more on the creative side of it. So then I looked into advertising. I never even applied to the advertising school at UGA. It's called Grady. Um, it's because I was going to minor in fashion merchandising, major in advertising, and then I fell in love with my fashion merchandising class, and I was like, why wouldn't I make this my major? And I remember I thought about making it my major, and my dad was kind of like, oh, like, I don't know, like, you should do business, you know, that's just like what dad say. He loves me, he's a great supportive guy, but that's just, you know, and I was like, yeah, like, I'm not going to do fashion merchandising, but the program at UGA is awesome. I have so many friends that are also in the program. I've learned so much. It's literally about what I do. I did a project on influencers recently. I light up when I talk about about this stuff and I enjoy writing papers so it's like very 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 cool for me and I think it's so important to enjoy school and it just kind of helps everything else I'm doing in my life so I feel like it applies um I don't know I'm just a very logical person that's like the Virgo in me <laughs> um so I just always like to do things that would make sense for like my lifestyle and having this as my major makes complete sense so many people get amazing careers right outside of UGA as a fashion merchandising major I don't know if I want a traditional career anymore. I like thought about it and now I'm kind of like, I don't know because I have so much going on in my own life and I'm also a spin instructor. A lot of people want me to do a video where I talk about my plans for future. Especially right now, I like really don't know what's up. Um, but I, I feel like I plan to move to a big-ish city and continue to do what I do. I want to keep working with Pure Velo. I want to keep being a spin instructor. How are you doing with everything right now? I want to make sure that you're doing okay. Thank you, Alasia, Alasia. Elysia? I want to say that correctly. I'm not sure. But thank you for asking. It's very sweet. Um, I'm doing really, really well. Comes and ebbs and flows, but the last few weeks have been pretty sturdy in my feelings. And, you know, I probably still cry once a day, every other day, whatever. But I, I like to cry, so it's, like, very, very normal. But um, I'm doing well. It's definitely... I'm definitely kind of more of an acceptance phase of it. It's, it's uncertain, but things are starting to look up in the world, I feel like. And, um, I think, I think I'm doing okay. It's just, um, I'm definitely, I'm starting to really just want my independence again, like so many people are. And I'm missing my boyfriend, I'm missing my friends, I'm missing college, I'm missing, it's starting to hit me that, like, we really haven't gotten this time. And I'm totally, I totally recognize my privilege and I totally know that there's so many more, you know, awful things that are happening in the world right now, but she asked how I'm feeling and that's how I'm feeling. Other than seeing friends, what do you miss most about being in Athens? I think just like walking around campus and just like feeling the high spirits. Everyone's just always in a great mood. I miss living with Delaney and just laughing for hours on end and cooking together and you know spinning at Pure Velo and just having like a whole little routine and living in a world full of literally people my age. It's the coolest thing. Um, but yeah, I, and I, I do miss going out. I do miss the good old parties. Allie asks, will you be staying in the same apartment next year? Yes, I get this question a lot, and I will be. Um, Delaney and I re-signed our lease for next year very early on this last year. Like, we had to say that in, like, September or October. Um, so yeah, we have the same apartment next year, which I'm so happy about, so we don't have to, like, move out or anything. All is well. I do have someone subleasing for my apartment this summer. 
um, but not right away. So I do need to go back to my apartment though to clean it out and kind of, not clean it out, um, but kind of set it up so she can live there. It's my boyfriend's little sister, um, so it's like a very chill situation, but I want to make sure it's like good for her to live there and everything for the summer. So yeah, I feel like I've answered enough questions. I hope that this vlog was any sort of entertaining. Give this video a thumbs up if it was. I feel like this was a really pointless vlog, but hopefully you got something out of it. No, I made my schedule today. I'm like, yeah, it was okay. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for staying there and supporting me and just being the best people ever. We will get through this all together and yeah, we just got to keep staying positive and I'm trying to create as much content for you guys as possible and keep you up with my life and I like to talk to you guys too. It's been a fun time. So stay safe, wash your hands. If you do go out and go to the grocery store, wear a mask. I've been wearing mine. Just do the little things so that we can get over this, right guys? I love you. Talk to you later.